Most of you know that I have a Jeep Cherokee and I love off-roading. I only drive the Jeep about maybe every other week. The rest of the time, it stays parked out by the barn. Unfortunately, that's also where the rodents like to hang out. Recently, Mike took the Jeep out for a drive to make sure it was ready for an off-road trip. And he smelled something he did not like at all. It seems that a rodent had gotten into the air vents and built a nest. When he turned on the AC, the smell from the nest took over. Well, needless to say, I rode with the windows down, even though it was over 90 degrees outside. I sprayed a bunch of Lysol into the fan, and I tried my best to clear it out, but looks like I'm going to have to pull the whole dashboard off to get into the system and clean out the nest. That's a big job, and it's one I'm not looking forward to. You know, this can happen in our relationships, too. Sometimes we let a rat build a nest in a relationship, and it starts to stink. It can happen between spouses, friends, or even between us and God. We try to cover the smell and hope it'll go away, when what we really need to do is pull off the dash and get rid of the nest. What are these nests in our relationships? They might be bad habits, anger, bitterness, or jealousy. In giving advice to a church in Colossia, Paul wrote about some of the nests that he did not want to see develop. Listen to him talk about the rats that needed to be put away in their day. Here are his words beginning in Colossians 3, verse 5. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming. In these you too once walked when you were living in them. But now you must put them all away. Anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. That's advice from 2,000 years ago, but still so applicable today. God doesn't want these problems to stink up our lives any more than I wanted that rat to stink up my Jeep. And covering a stink up with some Lysol isn't a long-term solution. And neither is shoving these problems under the proverbial rug. With God's help, let's acknowledge if we have any of these problems and ask Him to help us eradicate them. Thanks for trekking with the foxes. Mm -hmm.